New plan. Same plan. Ah, hello there everyone, and welcome back down here to the Gamer's Den with me, your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire, continuing on with our Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires playthrough, guiding Karl Franz and the Empire of Sigmar to victory over the myriad panoply of foes that descend upon us from all quarters, all angles, throughout the Empire, within and without. And it seems like a same verse, uh, second verse, same as the first kind of situation here, because the Barrow Legion is besieging Fort Berberus yet again. Now, the fort's upgrades are about to kick in, and normally I don't like doing auto resolves, especially when I lose units, but I think it's going to be worth it as a time saver and kind of keep things moving on, and I don't know that the Barrow Legion is necessarily going to be in a position to really take the fight to us too hard afterwards. But before we get into all of that, if you're new here to the channel, go on down there, hit the subscribe button, and become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. Or if you've already gone on ahead and listed yourself on such an incredible roster of legendary heroes, then go on down to hit the like button and share the video far and wide. And don't forget, for standing armies, I don't know that it works for settlement garrisons, but for standing armies, if you wish, you can get any of these units renamed by commenting in the comments down below what you would like to see a particular unit renamed to. As long as it's not a legendary lord or a regiment of renown, we shall get that shifted over. And let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you're wondering why I'm talking low and quiet right now, it is because... Uh, I have got my smallest adorable co-host with me, uh, Mr. Finn. He is snoozing. I'm on baby duty, giving my wife a much-needed break from all of that. Ooh. Sorry, Karak Zifflin. Sorry, Rorik Granite Hand. I can't. There's already too many fights about to happen, and it's only a matter of time before Sylvania ends up declaring war, too. That's going to be entirely too much, and... We've got the Norskin tribes going to descend upon us, so we are going to have to skip. So yes, I have small baby with me. Ooh. Elector declares independence. Elector Count Boris Todbrenner has brazenly announced the secession of Middenland from the Empire, declaring the state's total independence. You can oppose Middenland's independence with military action and declare war, or alternatively, use your political power to gather support and stop their secession without bloodshed. So remember what I said just a few seconds ago about too many enemies? We are going to spend our prestige to rally political support. Ooh, caravan arrived. Enemies killed in battle. Zoo Krugenheim gone. Ooh. That's still looking a bit better than I thought they would. Of course, then again, they can just bring troops back from the dead. Seek out the heretics. So... Let's move you over here, start messing with Grom at least, so that way the dwarves have some kind of a shot. And also, this will keep us scouting in the area, which will be very handy. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah. I am Prince we are and Emperor. Some rain skins here. Raise your weapons. Ugh, Middenheim's in a bit of danger. Wait, where is Boris? Oh no. That's not ideal. Okay, well. To war. Oh, just do that real quick. 261. Oh, I probably could have done better than that, but I'm not gonna stress it too much. The nation calls. Move. Watch. Okay. Emperor's finest. That would be Finn back there announcing his presence to the world. Yes, a sound plan. On march! Let's go right there, so that way they can still regenerate and recover. Oh, 
We don't have a great deal defending ourselves down here, and I don't like that. Let's see who we can cut deals with. It is time. Ooh, good. Who calls? Oh. The well, nation nobody calls. interested in trade, though. What brings you here to disturb my work? Right. Let's rack up me? as much the coin and friendship as possible. Eh, not even Tread worth carefully. it. Of course. Yes? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Yeah. Now what brings you Fine! Alright. Okay. So tribal fury. So natural that me it is night. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna make peace with them, even though it's a good idea. I'm taking all of that from them. There's going to be nothing but hellfire and fury waiting for them. Now let's see. Good for there. Mm -hmm. Should we? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's recruit a new lord. That wouldn't be bad. Did you have praise, Sigma? So you might make a better a better elector count for the region over there than uh, the other guy. I thought I could pick somebody with noble though. Oh, yep, there it is. So he did. So I don't need that. Monster Hunter, bonus versus large, that's nice. Oh, Monster Cracker would be good. Imperious. Hmm. You know, since we're going to be defending some walls. And this is going to be all about defense and maintaining leadership in the face of some terror. What does the Emperor bid? Huntsman General! Secure the perimeter! like a good forced march up north. And that's got a pretty solid garrison now. Ah, that's what I get for dad brain and exhaustion. Uh, approach me, vile beasts. Oh. The von Karsteins have declared war on us. 
I'm glad it recruited the third army. Thank you, Humphrey. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, Silver Seal. I'll have to try to get some of these quest items. Ooh. Let's see. Recklessness and ruin. Your state troops had recently been participating in joint military drills with their counterparts in Ostland. Attending were some of the more junior members of your personal retinue. Fresh-faced recruits hand-picked for their warrior prowess, but still young and impressionable men. During a night of rest and recuperation in Ostland's capital, the men caused a drunken brawl that soon escalated into a minor riot. By dawn the next day, the damage had spread across large portions of the city and included the desecration of some state monuments. The behavior of, men, of your men has caused Ostland to look upon you extremely unfavorably. Dishing out harsh punishments may not be enough. It may take considerable resources to salvage things here. Political concessions. So many factions dropping off like flies. Who could? Okay. That's not very ideal. We'll have to finish this fast. Yes, my lord. By Sigma's right. I ain't doing that. Pick up the pace! Fight for our nation! What? No reinforcements. Into battle. What? To strengthen the you empire. You need to scoot a lot closer. No peace. Stop. There. Decisive little casualties. Let's take it. Tribe destroyed. Misty Hills. Summon the Elector Counts. Boost that growth, boost the income. Have to redo some of these, but. The Empire! Now! Let's see. Round. Safeguard Wild Eyed. Yes. Franz. That would have been nice just a moment ago, but... I have a feeling we're going to need to march east here. Help out against the uh, forces of Festus. Since he's making his way down here. Ooh, that executioner's axe. That'll be nice. You. Huntsman General! Keep the pace! Spearmen. Okay. So crossbowmen would be nice, but leveling that up would be good too. Not in this world or the other. 
We are well, first for war. I tried to keep you alive, my dwarf and friends. Is it time? What have you to say? Show me the accused. Yes. That's good at yes. least. Okay. What do we do from here? By the way, if you're wondering why there's some odd timing, start stops, and little things propping up here and there, it's because I've got to go a bit back and forth helping out, as I'd mentioned earlier. So, that'll be happening a lot, and that'll most definitely be affecting the uh, pacing of the schedule of things coming out here on the channel as well. Not much to be done about that, because gotta be done. But, just so you know, there's so. not no reason for it. Our strength rate 26. Nice. Not bad for this early on. For what? 28 turns in? What? <laughs> They're not looking for peace anymore. Good. They'll only betray that peace eventually. 26 turns. Yeah. Nice. Huntsman General. Lines up nicely. All right. Populous. Nice. Good. Distract your people with brutish games. Crowds flock to the fighting pits and arenas to revel in the violence and forget their woes for a time. Very nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Scheisse. This is not going well for Middenheim at all. Oh, and that corruption. Ever vigilant. That's racking up real bad. Yes, to unite the provinces. I okay. command here. This will bolster the nation. Moving off. Let's get in here and do as much as we can to help. All right. Thank you, my most adorable co-host and son, Atticus. Okay. Superhero Atticus. The men are keen. Okay. Garrison duties. Fall in, men. There. Not now. That should make life a particular strain of hell Hunters. for them. just assassinating that makes us tired. Report. Well, that's okay. Can't succeed all the time. Huntsman General! Piercing missiles. These guys do not. Well, that's okay. Still be a massive help. We've got so many quests to do. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Sterling demands region. Historically, the region of Nidling has been ruled over by Sterling, but is currently under the control of the Elector Count of another state. Albert Count Anderson, the rightful Elector Count of Sterling, has asked for your help in restoring his rule over this land immediately. Now, don't like the idea of dropping Sterling down, but I don't like doing that with Talabeckland any anyways either. And hitting ten 
They will try to confederate with us, I believe, next turn, but we can decline it since we're not ready for that yet, and that'll give us another bit of Imperial authority, giving us that buffer we need to make these things happen. Oh no. Oh, well, I tried. I tried. Glad I have that third yes, body to help hold them off. Plan. So we're about to pick a really big fight here. Praise Sigma. On march. Bring me to my men. Given that it's our first fight of the Empire versus Chaos, we are gonna fight this out. Very fecund. Ooh, we could auto resolve comfortably and only use the halberdiers, but we gotta figure this out. Should be fun at least, though. I do wish we didn't have this map. Let's see. We could do the hills here, though. Although, luring the giants in up here could be cool. Let's see. Nah, I'm not really liking that either. Okay. So here's what we do. Since our allies are coming in over here, and behind us here, let's park up this way. Really prevent them from flanking us. We're gonna try to catch him collapsed in the middle there. For the Emperor! Let's see. What kind of infantry are those? Great uh, or great axe. Chaos warriors, perfect. Great target for them to have. Let's put our character crew here. Since they're the fast movers and can move to support. Swords here, great swords here, and then we'll shift our halberds around as needed. That anti large anti infantry will be handy. Sigma! 
I'm being joined by both of my most adorable co-hosts now, Nora and Atticus, and my youngest most adorable co-host is present as well. It's a regular old party now. I'm going to pause for just one moment and see what we need to get going here. All right. Now with my most adorable co-host settled for now, Let's rock. 
really gonna have to get you out of there away from that giant. Go! On way! All right! Fire! It's just a regular old chaos giant. Chaos spot. Oh, they're after him. Soldiers of the Empire. Fire! Fire! For Helden Hammer! Kill as many of their chaos giants as possible. Rexguard knights! Oh good. Now run down them. as many of them as possible. Get that quickly! You keep bleeding? Oh my goodness. On your lip? Okay. We need to get you a band-aid? Okay. Let's get you a band-aid Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm just going to let this run out here, folks. I'll try to remember to edit things out afterwards. Be right back. Looks like a pretty decisive victory. Excellent. 
305, 27, 265, so 532, 595, 597 against their 977. Now, granted, we deployed a hell of a lot more than they did, but man, they had some terrifyingly strong units that they are not going to get to replace anytime soon, and Festus is down. Problem is, we're severely depleted as well. We are going to have to get a little bit creative here. Okay. We'll take the money. Proceed plague, plague. Casualty replenishment rate and vigor loss reduction, though. I have to fix mommy's glasses. Okay, well, folks, I think this is where we're going to have to end it for now. If you like today's video, go on down there and let me know in the comments below. And also remember, if you want Someone any of these like units the renamed, just drop that down. Yeah, those are some monsters there, but we have our own friendly monsters like Deathclaw, the great griffin of Karl Franz. Right there. See where my see my little mouse here? It's right here. Yep. Remember to like, subscribe, leave your comments, thoughts, and suggestions down below, and I'll see you folks next time. With all that said, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so much for your time, and you all have yourselves a good night.